Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. All right, party people, we are here to talk about the top TV show theme songs. The intro to every one of our favorite shows. Let's talk about it. Number 10 on our list. And you wish that you weren't there. Make believe. I feel like since it's 10, I'm going to give you 10 songs, 10 seconds to figure it out, then I'll tell you what it is. Let's go. Muffet Babies. Muppet Babies. I always said Muffet Babies, but it's Muppet Babies. And I'm so excited because we get to see Baby Miss Piggy, Baby Kermit, and no more! Oh, man, the one who can't tell a joke. Who is your favorite? Is it, um, huh? Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy's yours? Oh, man, mine would have to be Animal because Animal's just too wild. We've never got to see Nanny's face. And you know what I think? But you remember, I gotta whisper. Remember Mammy on that one cartoon, Tom and Jerry? They never show Mammy's face on Tom and Jerry either. All right in here. Yes, Mammy. <laughs> Number nine. Here's the story of a lovely lady. All them that hair of gold. Like that mother. Like their mother. The youngest one in curls. One day that this lady met this fella. The Brady Bunch. Now I know that there was some old freak stuff going on on the Brady Bunch, but a fun show. I didn't grow up watching it when it was like live on TV, but later on in life I caught the reruns and I thought it was hilarious. Marsha, she just couldn't win, man. She just could not win. Cindy could get away with murder and I liked Alice. Alice had her little boo. Hey. <laughs> Seinfeld. Seinfeld is one of my husband's favorite shows. He loves the sob that Jerry used to drive. They have funny jokes. It's a show about nothing. It's literally a show about nothing. And one of my favorite episodes would have to be the coffee table uh, book episode. And Newman. Newman. Everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries. Sure can. Listen. Wouldn't you like to get away? Y'all better sing it. Cheers was Cheers was the show, man. You gotta admit, Cheers was the show. Rhea Perlman, uh, Rhea Pearl, Rhea Perlman, I think was her name, the bartender. I think she was Danny DeVito's wife in real life. Uh, the show was off the chain. It boosted a lot of people's careers. Kirstie Alley, uh, uh, t t t Ted, 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 um, Ted Danson. Uh, Norm on the show. Everybody know everybody's name. It was it was a good. Uh, they, for me to be a kid watching it, I don't know why I was so drawn to it. It's a it's just the humor. It's a good little show. Hey. It was always kind of dark. The camera and everything. <laughs> Sanford and Son, you got, if I did, I, I need to do a top comedian of all time list, to be honest, because Red, Red is just, he's a legend. Red Fox was a legend, man. R.I.P. to the great one. Uh, great, great stand-up. He was able to, he was like a gazillionaire, but he had a lot going on. Another great comic on his show is LaWanda Page, and I think they might have even toured a lot together way back in the day. Her stand-up crazy good i didn't realize they were so gutter with the language man but uh we all dropped some mfs and four little words along you know in our lives but the, i i really like sanford and son he has to get out of something he he always oh this is a big one because his wife passed away that's our sanford and son show number five <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger, T Chuck Norris. First of all, the guy has his own water off the chain, the force water. He's a legend. He's a Wrangler's Gene legend. He's a Texas legend. He, uh, man, him, between him and Trevet, um, you know, they have a lot to do with a lot of people choosing the career path that they, they chose. You know, to be a Texas Ranger, you, you're elite. You are one of the elite. Walker, Texas Ranger, legendary, legendary. You always figure it out at the end of the episode. Walker could kick butt. It really makes you want to pick up truck for some reason. 
world a different world is number four on the list and this show highlighted historically black colleges it was a spin-off to uh, the Cosby show which is our set right now Bill Cosby has some pudding pop problems going on I don't know I don't know I wasn't there but Fishy, as I like to say, fishy, fishy. I smell trout, catfish, and all of that. Some fishy, fishy. Some legendary stuff, man. Jada Pinkett was on there. Uh, Cree, what's her name? Cree, I want to say Cree Williams. I don't know. But I know her first name is Cree. This chick has went on to do, if you look her up, I promise she's done every voiceover for every cartoon that you listen, you've watched and your kids have watched. She's got that real raspy voice it's just it's i if you know i'll start with an f anyway we love her she had natural hair back then whitley uh kadeem harrison everyone who's been on this show it kind of it, it pushed people to say hey man you you can go to college you can be what you want to be there is a future out there for you and message was good shouts out to debbie allen uh the theme song was off the chain did you know that uh, Aretha Franklin was actually married to the guy. Oh, what the heck was his name? He was in Cooley High. But that was her boo. Believe it or not. He was taking down the queen. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find that one. Mm -hmm. Adam's family. Adam's family. I'm not gonna lie. It scared the heck out of me when I was a young one. It did. The costumes, the music, it was a black and white show. Um, had a whole family. They were treated as outsiders. And um, it's interesting. It's fun. The music was uh, phenomenal. And old girl had a bomb wig, didn't she? In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground was where I spent most of my day. Outside of school with a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. She said you moving with your auntie and uncle. Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince was off the chain even though they had us beefing over the Aunt Viv situation that they're still 20 something years later they're still upset about. Tom Jones' iconic dance. No, my favorite episode might be the one where Ashley wanted to sing. Uncle Phil would kick out his friend Jazz out of the show. His friend's name was Jazz. That was pretty fly. Carlton was front. And Carlton was front and acting like he didn't have a little body back there. But we know he had a little body. He had them chest, the chesticles. His chesticles was like pop pop. Jeffrey was hilarious. Uh let's talk the guests there was a, so many guests don't forget yo will is from philly will was will is a rapper he still puts out music his wife jada puts out music they're a very talented family his little brother's an actor and i think um uh, you know it's it's they're like it's it's so much talent endless possibilities with the smith family and uh queen latifah was on there nia long was on there tyra banks was on there all these people attached to this legend to this legendary show shouts out to fresh prince that's why they're number two on the list N number one's going to be the iconic show <laughs> the simpson maggie maggie with the star sleeper winter blue coat hilarious it was orange, not blue. Drop a comment below and let me know who's your favorite Simpson character. Maggie's got to be as old as I am. I think Maggie was born in, she was a baby in, well, like, 84 when the show came out, maybe 82. Um, at, Maggie's older than me. Bart's bad, always been bad. I like old, 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 old Bart. The Simpsons can tell the future, that they predict everything that's happening in the world or will happen in the world. And it's kind of true when you look back because somehow, some way, the Simpsons knew. Uh, favorite episode is get in. My favorite episode is when Mr. Burns puts the gun on Smithers and he's crazy in the hospital and he's like, get in. He's and <laughs> it's a, he can't get in. He can't get in. My ultimate favorite is the little boy who it would be Ralph Wiggum. 
Uh, I'm a furniture. It's the little boy's name. I'm a furniture. Him. He's always eating crayons. His dad's the uh, Chief Wiggums. Ralph. Ralph. Ralph is my favorite character. I love Marge Simpson's sisters. They're horrible. Horrible. But hilarious. Honorable mention is going to go to the Parkers. <laughs> Honorable mention also goes to In Living Color. Because it ignited the careers of so many people. Uh, I can't even say the list. You already know. Uh, this is my list of all the TV shows that I enjoy. Drop your comments below. TV show theme songs, I should say. And I also want to give a shout out to the homie because uh, she, I, I'm saying she. I, I Sometimes I don't know if you guys are, I, I don't know. Like, uh, Noya. Noya watches a lot of the videos and I always want to say he. But I don't know if Noya is a he. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Southeast. Like Southeast, I always want to say she. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't want to say he, she, but he, she, her, him. I don't know. So, but I'm going to say the person who wrote the comment about a different world. Shouts out to them because they definitely reminded me that um, from another video of top TV shows, how great that their intro song was. Anyway, you guys, until the next time. Oh, and shouts out to... Uh, Simon for checking out the other videos too. my top 10 my top 10 thing that I'm doing uh, My top 10 thing that I'm doing right now. All right until the next time peace